Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial episode for the Redemption MMO Minecraft server. Today, as you can see, we're going to be talking about jobs, how you're going to make your money on the server to buy your items in this economy, how to expand your claims. You got to earn money somehow, right? All right, so the various jobs are as follows. We've got miner, woodcutter, digger, farmer, hunter, explorer, crafter, fisherman, weaponsmith, brewer, and enchanter. Now all these jobs are going to have a very set of items, actions, that you could perform in order to earn your cash. To check that info, we go ahead and right click on these signs. And that's going to pop up a list of items and it will tell you what that action is to perform on that item or with that item in this listing. And you can use these previous page and next page arrows to check on it all. Under each one of these jobs, there's also a join to join the job or leave to leave the job sign right underneath. Now, let's say you didn't happen to notice the jobs building when you were coming through here. You took off and you found your spot already. Well, that's just fine. You can actually do all this stuff from wherever you are by performing the commands. So let's go ahead and input some commands. So it's job, jobs join. And then that's going to be the job name after that, for instance, just for example here, slash jobs join minor. I'm already a minor, that's fine. Let's say slash jobs join enchanter. Boom, you can see you already, you, you've already joined too many jobs. So on the redemption server, we, we, we've got it set to a max of two jobs. So you join two jobs. And what you're going to want to do is think about the actions, the things that you're going to be doing most frequently as you, the player, throughout your throughout your stay with us. So, and, and, and that, that that way you can actually pick the jobs that you want to join that, that's going to earn you the most money by what you're doing. Such as Miner, Woodcutter, Digger. I don't know any players on any Minecraft in any instance where you're not going to be performing those actions somewhat at some time, right? Okay, well, let's uh, let's move on from there. Let's do slash jobs, browse. And that's actually going to bring up this pick your job menu deal, right? And that's actually going to give you, show you the info for the max level, the number of people that are currently doing that job. So you could probably see, like here, minor, like I said, 204 people have joined minor. That's a lot of people. You can see builder, not a whole lot of people join builder. People are making smart decisions as to what pays out the most so and, and then and then you can actually join right right from here you can right click to join for that job and you can left click on the item to get more info and that's going to show you everything and what it pays out um for for each job for each item for each action etc and moving on from there we've got the slash jobs info and then the job name so we've got let's say minor and that's going to show you the same information that you got from right clicking on the info sign that that way like i said you can you can actually get that from any and wherever you are anywhere in the anywhere in the world if we do slash jobs stats and then the player name will use myself as an example you can see here all the info the progress through the levels how much XP I have towards the next level, how much XP I need for the next level, and what level I'm currently at, what jobs I'm a member of. If we do slash jobs, top, job name, we can see where my competition is at in levels from the top highest level to the lowest level in the list. So you can see here I'm at number nine on the list, I'm level 21, and I've got a little bit to go to catch up with some people. Now, if we do slash jobs GTOP, that's going to show us a global top list. It's not going to categorize. So it, it's highest level, the top 15 highest levels out of all the jobs. And you can see here, I'm the highest level of the, that's based on my, my fishing level. And I'm not sure what these other people's jobs are on the list, but in order, like I said, from top to bottom, number one being the highest level, and then it shows them all in order. If we do slash jobs limit, we can see how much the limit is for earning income 
with your job. On Redemption, there's no limit to the n number of dollars you can earn by performing the actions for your job. Because that's going to be practically your primary source of income other than selling items on the auction house or via your shops. And we'll get into that later. But that's going to be your primary, how you how you earn your money to buy more claim blocks to expand your claim, etc, etc. Now, let's say you happen to pick Explorer for a job and that's not paying out because you hunkered down in a spot and you built a base. You're not running around anymore. You can actually do slash jobs, leave, and then the job name. So in this instance, like I said, Explorer for the example, and then input that and you would leave specifically that job explorer slash jobs leave all is another option for a command that would leave all of your jobs so you would just abandon them all now the reason i mentioned before that you want to think about the actions that you're going to be performing the most is that once you leave your job even if you join that same job so say you join miner and explorer but Explorer wasn't paying out. You don't want to leave your miner job as well because you've already leveled up your miner job. And if you were to leave the miner job, you would start back over at level one, even if you rejoined it again. No good, right? So let's not do that. <laughs> All right. The next thing we're going to talk about here is we're going to point ourselves here and we're going to do slash jobs block info. Now, I don't find this very handy, but it does show you, okay, so because this half slab was in, actually in the way of the obsidian, I didn't get the obsidian. So that's something to keep in mind if you do use it. I don't find this particularly useful, but perhaps you have a use for it. If you do the blocks info, the block info command, the slash jobs block info, it's gonna give you the info, the block name, block ID, the block data, and how you would use that in say a command. Now the other thing that you could do that's very similar, it's essentially the same thing, but it's for the item that you're actually holding in your hand at the time. So here you can see I'm holding cobblestone, it's item ID is four, it has data zero, and then the usage that it would be for the command. Now the last thing that we're gonna talk about here on our list is slash jobs toggle action bar okay as well as slash jobs toggle boss bar let's go ahead and run out and i'll show you what those are all about give me just a sec here we gotta fly out of the spawn zone because in the spawn zone the spawn zone is a protected area as would be on any surfer i would think you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to break any blocks so let's go ahead and fly out We're gonna head on down. And here we are. This little pit. I'll just go ahead and smash that. A couple of them. There we go. You see at the top, it shows my current level of the job, of the action that I just performed. Next up there, it shows how much experience I currently have with how much experience I need to achieve the next level. And then it uses that, it utilizes that boss bar right there to show as a gauge, uh, as you would with essentially any like RPG type deal where you're gaining levels. It shows your progress towards that next level. Now, as you can see down at the bottom, it says you got 1.01 money and 0.89 experience. And that's your action bar. So that's your action bar that shows you how much experience you earned, how much money you earned for performing that a action. And with that, that covers all the commands that have to do with uh, jobs. So that's it for today. If this video helped you out in any way or you enjoyed it, be sure to smack that like button. Uh, if you think there's a way that I could improve these videos or you want to see more, um, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section. Smash that like button. Give that or hit that hit that subscribe. 
let me know what's going on. I want to know if you're enjoying the series. If you want to see more, let me know what else you want to see down in the comment section. As always, in the video description, I'm going to leave links to all of the server info as well as the server IP and some other various infos. That's it for me to get for me today, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.